Howdy folks, welcome to episode 7. Today we're going to take this back down the hill and we're going to buy a new... <laughs> I started speaking, see? Alright, we're, <laughs> we're going to go buy a new... A new, uh, yeah. I love the, I love the, uh, she has to announce herself too. We're going to go buy a new um, engine. We're going to buy the class 48 and some uh, cars to go with it. Here, let's take this down the hill here. Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go buy the thing here. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that open so we can see how fast we're going here. We'll get that out of there, and we're gonna hit some brakes here in a second. That's this. I think we want this one. I think we want to do both of those. Let's see. Slow this down a little here. There we go. All right. Can we? There we go. A little bit better. Yep. That looks like that'll be fine. Looks like those two brakes will do the trick. I mean, probably don't even need that much. Let's take that one off. Let's see what happens when we go with just the one brake. 12, 13. 14 let's uh let's go to 50 percent here yeah that looks about right <laughs> looks a little scary so yeah it's about right <laughs> all right so 58 percent yeah 100 percent on one and 58 percent on the other one remember that so yeah we're gonna buy um we're gonna buy a class 48 and a couple of uh coal, iron hoppers i almost said coal again it was close. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to buy a couple of those. And then we'll see what we can do from there. And so I figure we might as well drive these back. We're going to need to... Um, we're going to need to um, to do that anyway. So get these moving. We'll take the brakes off because this is no longer downhill, I think. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we are. Okay. So, take those off. We're going to put the reverser on. Okay, we have the reverser on. And where are we going at? 16.9. Yeah, we're starting to lose speed now. So, start to give it some... We'll start to give it some juice here. I think we're going to need probably full regulator in order to... Let's see. Yeah, we're... No, we're staying even. Okay. I, it's, I think this right here is where we're going down a little bit. So, just need to be a little careful here. There we go. All right. State about there. <laughs> and she'll she'll give up after a couple minutes. But yeah, as soon as I start talking. Alright. Go like this. And then this was downhill again, so this part here is definitely downhill. Go like this. All right, 16. So yeah, we could probably just drop these off down by the, I guess we can drop them off by the sawmill. There's no reason not to. 18, might have to hit these other brakes if we're speeding up too much. Nope, we're doing okay so far. I think it gets steeper. Does it get steeper here? No, apparently it doesn't. Okay. 17.2. This going 17 is definitely better than going like 6, right? <laughs> All right, we're slowing down again. Let's go like this. 
Let's see, I think this bridge is downhill too. All right, and I think we're gonna need to hit, yep. We don't want to. We don't want to completely slow down to, to nothing because then we end up hitting this uphill here, and we're screwed. So yeah, we want to keep our speed up as much as we can because we got to get up this hill. We might have to. I think we can make it up this hill without doubling it. We'll see. There we go. All right. Yep. It's just I had to speak. I speak too soon. <laughs> I said she just like went to lounge in my lap and almost fell off the chair. <laughs> Did the total lean back and whoops missed. That, <laughs> that was great. Okay. I think this up here is the steep part. We'll see. No, that doesn't that doesn't get any steeper, does it? Okay. No, nope, we're good then. Cool. So we'll be able to make the rest of it. I do need to get rid of that one tree there. That tree is in the way of us trying to see what we're doing. There we go. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll get this out of the way. I, um, it's like I could have built a siding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We can get up to this. Because I think it evens out pretty close here. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I thought about, uh, just putting an extra siding and parking this up there, but we're going to have to move it back anyway. I mean, you know, we might as well just put them where they're going to be, uh, where they belong anyway. So we'll start out with some driving, some tra drain driving, right? She likes that. likes it. <laughs> she doesn't run away. <laughs> she keeps coming back for more, so. Alright. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to need to, um, we're going to need to, uh, here. Let's go like this. We're going to flip this switch. There we go. Alright. Turn the brakes off. There we go. We're going to go this way. Let's check our map here and make sure that we're actually going to go the right way. We're going to go this way. There. Because, yeah, that's the only place this is going to go anyway. There's no there's no other place to put these cars. So that's fine. And then if we need Betsy for the logging cars, we can, we can grab her for that. But we'll probably try to use Betsy as a porter now and just use the Class 48 as our main engine. So I should probably get that. I probably should have... Um, I probably should have bought that and put whatchamacallit on it. Put some wood in it to get it fired up while we're driving here. That probably would have been a good idea, huh? Yeah, it's not enough time to to get around here before it's too late, so we'll just wait. There we go. Alright, so we're out of the way. We can just sit here. Alright. Go like that. We're going to um, get out of there. <laughs> We're going to uh, let's go buy our locomotive. It was the that was the first one. Yeah, see, that's the first one that's not just a little porter. So we'll get this one. Um, we're gonna number one name. Sure. <laughs> and this is forty eight. We'll call it 48. All right. And let's check our smokestack. Oh, they don't have headlight options on it. Okay. And no paint options. Okay. So I got to name them because otherwise it crashes my save editor if I try to use it like that. So let's go back to, oh, you know what we can do? We can do this. We don't need to. There. Cool. Cool. Yeah, we don't need to do the other thing. Okay. Can we... Oh, I'm in that. Okay. Can we go like this? There. 
And what percentage is that? Five, 71. Okay, so let's buy the other cars that we're going to get. We're going to get two of the... Um, there, Hopper, number one, Hopper, <laughs> and paint, no paint options, okay, and we're going to buy a number two, Hopper, so that's this one, I don't know why I'm calling the Hopper, Hopper. <laughs> I just want some text on there. All right. So I should call it Cole, right? Ha ha ha. Okay. Let's re-rail this one. We're gonna re-rail this dude. And which way do we want to? Which way do we want him facing? Because we're gonna go up the Iron Hill. Yeah. Why don't we put it facing this way? Yeah, we're going to do that. All right, and then we're going to grab these two. There we go. If it'll let me. There we go. All right, there's that one. And we'll re-rail this one. If it'll let me. It really doesn't like me re-railing stuff. Okay, and then we'll get... Nope, not that one. We want, did it? Oh, it re-railed the other one twice. Okay. Because I still had the other one on re-rail apparently. Re-rail. Hopper, okay. Let's see if it'll do it right this time. Give me a spot, there we go. Okay, so we have a pin in this one. We're gonna turn off the brakes on this. And then we're going to put, we have a pin in this one. Yeah, okay. So we have our pins. Let's go like this. Reverser. All right, we don't have any. Can we Can we use the compressor on this one? No, this one doesn't have a compressor. Okay. All right. So we have to wait. We have to wait for our boiler pressure. Yeah, okay. There we go. And let's get these <laughs> get the brakes turned off on that one we do have the brakes turned off on that one okay we need to do this once it hits the other one there we go and there all right and then we can turn the brakes off on this oh she's not going to groom my hair this time <laughs> she loves that one all right Go like this. Okay, so now we've got everything set up and <laughs> nice. Because the boil pressure, the boiler pressure isn't up yet. But it'll get there. Alright. Does this one go up to 130 or 150? Must be 130. Okay. All right, cool. So let's see what our speed is. Our current speed is nothing because we're not on the right thingy. There we go. Open controls. All right, cool. Our speed is 18. Okay. We could do 18. That's fine. That's totally fine. Let me see. We're at 25. Let's see what happens if we go up to 100. Oh, it actually does go up. Nope, nope, it doesn't. Okay, just curious. All right, so we're going to take this one. We're going to go this way. And this way. And then we're going to do that thing. We're going to turn around. So I'm not sure why I didn't just face it the other way. Probably could have done that, couldn't I? I could have just put it facing the other direction <laughs> and and not had to turn around, but that's okay. All right. Looking good. Let me turn this up a little bit. There we go. 
I can't hear this one as much like I could hear Betsy. Probably because I have a cat purring in my ear. All right, and then we'll go get our coal and we're gonna have to build a line to the smelter. We're gonna have to build a line to the smelter and then go down, bring our coal down to the smelter on our new line. So that's gonna be fun too. All right, we're gonna go like, as soon as we get past this, we're gonna go hit this. What's the other thing that the smelter needs? It needs cordwood. We don't have cordwood cars yet so we can't really do the smelter. All right. Let's get moving first and then we can worry about fuel efficiency. All right. So let's double check all of our switches. Switches are good there. Switches are good there. I mean, it might even be nice to bring cordwood with this train, but yeah. Oh, and by the way, I did give myself some money. Um, I just pretended that we did some more routes. I'm not gonna grind routes, but um, I just did give myself like 5,200, the cost of these three cars, so that we could pretend we did a bunch of, I don't know, selling logs. Let's just say we sold, sold logs, but I'm not gonna, I mean, the, the fun of the game is progressing and getting new stuff, so not is not, at least at this point in, in the, the development cycle, the fun in the game is not, like, repeatedly going back and forth with a porter and two cars to get logs. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to do that. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to use our brakes here. Brakes. Brakes, brakes. I know I missed the brakes on that one. Okay, there we go. And speed is 12. Do this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we got to do brake management on this one. And then as soon as we get to the bottom of this hill, we need to crank on the speed again. Let's get this moving. Just a second here. Yep, there we go. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. We're still at 18. This is where we're starting to hit this hill now. Because I think if we can make it up this first part, then we should be able to make it up the second, the second part. Because I think this over here is the steepest, is the steepest part of the whole thing. This up here. We can get rid of that too that out yeah see we're not even losing speed right now so that's cool Let's see what happens when we go down to 90 75 60 cool it looks like we could pull even more cars if we wanted to doesn't it 50 Okay, we're coming up on, about to be on level ground here, so. Bring this back down. How much fuel we're good on fuel, we're at 50%-ish. 50 per, 50 yeah, I think we'll do okay on this. So then we can fill this up. Oh, you know, that's why I wanted to do that probably, because we're going to end up, we're going to end up, um, well, we're going to go up the hill head first, but then we're going to have to come down tail first. We probably will put a Y up there. I think is what we'll need to do. Probably have to put a, a little mini Y. All right, we're slowing down again. There.
no reason to go super slow on this hill. Like I said, this is definitely more enjoyable than going like six through the valley. Remember um, trying to go through the valley and not run off the tracks and it was just so treacherous. We were trying to go every which speed. <laughs> That's, where, that's why you need those little signs so you can put up, you know, grade markers and know which grade you're on. Do I need to be adding, adding regulator or adding brakes or what? Okay, and I think what we're going to do is we're just going to give it, we're going to get it 100% the rest of the way up. Well, I think when we get close here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try out and see what regulator level is needed there we'll try it out and we'll see what what uh, amount of regulator is needed to keep it keep us top speed so that we know what how many cars we can pull up so that's we do 50 percent thirty three percent so Looks like we're slowing down there. Okay. Forty percent. So five, five cars we should be able to pull up at because forty percent is two fifths of a hundred, right? So five halves of two should be five cars. Theoretically, if that's if that math works out, then we should be able to pull five cars up the hill at top speed. And that's at top speed, so I don't know if that means that we could pull, you know, seven cars up at half speed or something. <laughs> All right. We'll slow down here a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. All right, we'll hit the bell. We probably should have hit the bell before we came into town. All right, so we're gonna get our. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Fifty-seven. Fifty-six. Four. Come on. 52, 51, <laughs> it's, it's just, we'll let it go, okay, all right, I need to, I need to get a better view on that one before we do it next time, can we, yeah, cool, we can get in there, all right, so we're going to pull forward by one car length, I was going to ask if we are downhill, I thought we were downhill. She's sitting on my lap, cleaning herself and bonking her head on the table. <laughs> bonking her own head on the table. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this. Are we in line? Yeah, okay. So we want to do this. There we go. Should be able to see the little ball fall. There we go. Five, four, three. There we go. Much better. All right. So now we've got our both cars filled up. Ten of ten. And whoops, ten of ten. All right. And how much is the to whole whole load? All right. Five thousand. Okay, so I thought that was empty. I thought that was the empty weight was 13. Okay, so we're going to go. You know what we need to do too? Is we need to. Um, we need to uh, get our track built down here. When we go down here. And we'll get our track built. I could have teleported, but yeah, we'll get we'll get our switch worked out here okay so what we need to do is we need to come across to the um, 
to the whatchamacallit. So let's go like this. We need to come across to the, here. There, much better. And we could probably even just do, whoops. I was not trying to do that. We could probably just do a straight line. Let's just do a straight line. Then we don't have to worry about it. And we'll just get a bridge to go across here. So we're going to take, um, we're going to do a wall first. And we're going to, you know what? I don't think we're going to do a wall. We're not going to try to go across that way. I was thinking of going across that way, but I think we'll just go straight across. Let's just do a regular bridge. So let's see if we can get one of these. And we'll see how this looks going across this. Really? There we go. See, that's beautiful. And then like that. Okay. So let's get our bridge across to here. And then we're going to do a wall. If it'll let me. There. There's our link. Okay. So we're going to do our wall. We're going to take off our curve here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. Now, do we need to go uphill to get to this smelter? Let me check. I think we still need some uphill. Oh, not too much. Not really. Okay. Not really very much. So what we need to do is we need to get up to basically this level. Two point five. We could probably even do two. Yep, we can do two percent and come up like this. And get it right along this, run right along the edge of this. There we go. It looks like it's running into there. There. Let's see if that keeps the ground out of there. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to come up here, and then what we need to do is we need to figure out where, which side of this, let's figure out which side of this we're going on. So we need to come out to this side with our cord wood and our stuff. So let's get these trees out of here. With our cord wood and our uh, iron. All right, so what we could do is we could probably run the cordwood over the top or something and then run the iron. I'm not sure that we've done that kind of thing before. So what we need to do is we need our iron to come out this way. So we're going to go like this. What angle is this going to be at? Let's see. Does that look maybe one more? Yeah, okay, that looks good. And then we're going to bring this up to here. So let's bring this back a little bit. All right, we're going to bring this out here. We're going to bring this on level ground. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this old chestnut here. Is it going to let me link it? Why isn't it there? It showed it there for a second. <laughs> Does it, is it need, it needs that piece. Okay. So we're going to go at the same angle, 65%. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to come up to here. There we go. And then we're going to try to come out like that. All right. And so then we should be able to drop our cord wood. <clears throat> we'll probably even adjust that. But for right now, 
all we need to do is just get this to connect over here. And we probably want to switch down here somewhere too. We'll probably want to switch down here too, but let's see where our track is. We'd probably want to put a switch in here somewhere so that we can switch to this side. So maybe 2.5. All right, yeah, let's, why don't we connect this and then we'll, we'll figure out where we can put our switch in later. We'll, we'll just get this to link. Is it going to let me link? It's not going to let me do it. Let me try. What's it, is it too? It's not too long. I know it's just going under the ground or something like that. All right. Let's try this. So this is going to come down to here. Looks about like the right place to put a to put a link, doesn't it? There. I mean a, a switch. All right, so let's actually do that. We'll get a switch in here. So our switch is gonna go right. Yeah, we're gonna go right. And we're gonna connect that one. Yep, we're gonna connect that one and then that one will be the one that goes to our, whatchamacallit. And then this is just gonna be um, the embankment. Let's do the wall. Let's just do the wall for this. It might be that it wants to go the opposite direction. Maybe it's doing that thing. Nope, there it goes. All right, cool. So we've got a wall here. Let's get our trees cut down, and then we'll go get our train and drive it back and see if we can do this. See if we can load these up. All right, let's make sure our switch is the right way too. There. We're going to get rid of these. so we can see on the way in. All right, and that's our that's our iron. So, yeah, we we can probably even put embankment underneath this underneath this if if you're all worried about it and you want to make it look better, you could do that to make it look nicer. But yeah, we'll get this cleaned up. Set there it goes. Get these cleaned up and out of the way. And let me double check that is not actually over the track. Okay, good. It's not over the track. That is. <laughs> All right. The car wash effect. Can we get that one? All right, cool. And can we get this one? Yeah, I think that one went. Yep. All right. And then I think we have one or two more at the end here. Yep. This one. Yeah, let's get rid of this one too. Let's double check underneath. We don't have anything underneath that's going to like pop up through the top and hit us. Nope. Okay, cool. So I think we are good on that. Let's flip our switch here. And then let's go up to our... You know what? We don't need to do that. We can do that. We'll teleport to our iron mine. Hey, I called it the iron mine on the first try. <laughs> All right. There we go. I think I still have a, yeah, I still have a log on me. There we go. All right. We are in reverse. Let's get this moving. All right, and then... Um, We're going to do this, and then we'll see how much brakes we need. I know with the other ones, we only needed, like, what, 70% of one car, 50% of one car, whatever it was. It wasn't that much. All right. So let's see what we get here. 8.7. It's, okay. Let's try 50%.
see the problem with doing it with the engine is then when you add more cars you don't know how much to do it if you can put each car at the same percentage 13 there we go 70% let's try 75% Okay, that looks like a good number. That looks like it's going to even out for us. But yeah, the thing is, if you use like, say, you know, whatever, the same percent on all these cars, then you end up with, it's easy to just, if you add more cars, you just put them all at the same percentage. Man, that looks like it's going to roll off, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. And we should be able to get over the smelter fairly easily. I like this is what I wanted to do with this setup is it's challenging to get up these hills and to build to them and everything but then it's not like a 20 hour drive to the next place I didn't want to do that I didn't want it to take forever to to go across the map and since they don't have the speeds way up this is the solution to you know to making the trips not too long okay we are down the hill There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we are fully loaded. This last segment is going to be the big challenge, if there is one. That's going to be where we're going to run into problems. But I don't think a 3%, it was only 25 or 3%. We'll see. We might be able to make this come up a little bit faster. I thought that bridge was level ground, wasn't it? Oh, we are going 18. It's, it felt like we were going slowing down. All right, let's see what happens when we hit this hill. Because it's, it's right up here. Seventeen point nine, 10.3. Yeah, it's right after this switch is when we're going to hit this hill. Nope, looks like that 3% grade isn't going to slow us down. Alright, we're going to need to hit the brakes here. We might have to use the reverser. There we go. Alright, let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, we can back up just a little bit more. Actually, we don't need to because we can hit the... Yeah, we can hit the thing here. Okay, cool. So we have... Our, there we go, our iron. Cool, and we get 20 each for those. So that's 400. Cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, and so then next time what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to get some cordwood. So that's going to be it for episode 7. Uh, join me in episode 8. I like how the text has a shadow on the ground. Join me in episode 8. We'll go get some cordwood from the logging camp, which again is not ridiculously far away, so it should be cool. And uh, but still challenging to get all, all up and down all those things. Yeah, we'll get that cordwood over here and we'll see we, see if we can get the smelter all loaded up. And then we're gonna have to, to get our output from there after that. So yeah, that's gonna be it for episode seven. Join me in episode eight and uh, we'll see you then. Later.